What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we are inside of Adobe After Effects. And I just got finished working on a project that ended up having 166 layers, and that was all within one comp. And so, because uh, I was having to jump around and edit all the key frames, and if I would have had it in multiple comps, it just it would have been a nightmare. So I just kept everything inside one comp. So one thing that I found while working inside of that big project, that big comp, was that it was hard to find my layers within the timeline because I had uh, everything open, showing my keyframes, um, at least I'd say out of the 166 that ended up being inside of the project at the very end, have about 100 layers open showing my keyframes. So it got really, really hard to find it. And so, I mean, basically you can do this. You can select it, come over here, and then you can scroll up. And we found this one you can select it and then you can scroll up and we found that one okay that's one way to do it uh however you can right click here and you can reveal layer source and project which we're showing over here you can reveal layer in project workflow which will show that and then you can also reveal uh, in explore if you've already saved it and i haven't saved it i just made this really quick for the project or for this lesson However, there is not one that you can right click and choose reveal in timeline. And so what I found, uh, which works pretty well, uh, unless uh, Adobe decides to actually make a dedicated shortcut key for it, is that uh, you can come over here, select a layer, hit your uh, shortcut key T for opacity. And since it's gonna open up that layer so that you can work within the opacities keyframes, it will automatically jump to that section. Come over here, hit T for that one. Come over here, hit T for that one. So it's a really quick way to find where you need to be at within your timeline whenever you have a huge project. Like, I mean, on this demo, we've got 64. So imagine having 102 more that's how big my project was that i just got finished with so 166 layers in that one single project okay wayne baron here with darkeffects.net inside of adobe after effects with a quick way to reveal the layers within the timeline y'all have a good one now bye bye